Okay, your time starts now. Today I have seen a video of one and a half month old child. Uh, he is most probably in a hospital setting. Child is sleeping, and uh, uh, he looks uh, uh, comfortable. And uh, he is sleeping with he his growth parameters are uh, appropriate. But I would like to check on centiles. There is a noise while he is uh, breathing in. Uh, and uh, also there are some recessions in the form of the suprasternal recessions and subcostal recessions at uh, um, there is no obvious cyanosis or uh, um, anything in the surrounding okay so and anything else um the facial features are uh, normal and uh, the uh okay so what uh, additional history would you like to take i would like to ask about the duration of the symptoms onset and uh, also the progression of the symptoms course of the illness uh, uh, i would like to ask about the aggravating and relieving factor that does it aggravate while the child is awake crying excited and also i would like to ask about the history of any fever um and uh, ask i would like to ask about the history of feeding cyanosis and uh, any sudden choking um uh, also i would like to ask about the vaccine status development of the child any previous neonatal history okay and uh, i would like to ask about the history of any gastroesophageal reflux that's all okay so what additional examination you would like to do okay after taking the anthropometric measurements and plot them on centile and checking the vitals of the child i would like to do the examination of respiratory system cardiovascular system and general physical examination i would like to uh, further extend my examination to look uh, for uh, uh head to toe examination okay so uh, what is your diagnosis and what are your differentials yes so it is a case of uh, laryngo malacia which is uh, okay. uh, which is the age is suggestive and also the infolding and the suprasternal recession the other differential can be uh, um foreign body which is less likely in this age i would like to confirm it by taking history uh, i would like to uh, the other differential could be uh, viral infection like bronchiolitis and also okay. pneumonia okay so how you will manage this child i will uh, 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 i will Uh, manage by first of all uh, um, making uh, on the basis of my differential. I will um, if there is uh, no history suggestive uh, of any um, infection, then I will not uh, send any labs. The diagnosis is clinical. I will admit, reassure the mother, and um, uh, I will counsel the family. Uh, I will also. Uh, So uh, what you will tell mother? Just tell her the red flag signs in the form of the faltering growth, cyanosis, breathing difficulty like choking, uh, and any unresponsiveness, uh, any vomitings if they are there. So they have to come back. The red flags. Okay. so what are the causes of acute strider yes so strider can be acute to, which is secondary to um uh, um viral infections and uh, can be secondary to foreign body 
uh, and uh, secondary to uh, viral infections like like bronchi uh, like uh, trachea uh, croup croup okay. trachea bronchitis mm. laryngo trachea bronchitis and um, okay. foreign body there are some other causes but they are less likely in this case of acute strider like acute uh, epiglottitis bacterial tracheitis but that mm. is less likely in this case as child is comfortable child is not drooling child is not in breathing comfortably child is breathing comfortably so these two are less likely so what are the causes of chronic croup or persistent croup yes so chronic can be secondary to laryngomalacia and uh, in okay. uh, the other can be a uh, laryngeal webs laryngeal papilloma uh, moreover uh, i would also like to keep uh, uh, subglot 